The tampon tags is a popular term that you may or may not have heard of. The term is commonly used to call attention to how period products such as pads and tampons are being subject to value added tax or sales tax. The tampon tax is excluded from the tax exemption status that is granted to other products that are considered basic necessities, which in my opinion and many others is unfair. This topic is somewhat taboo and it is not often brought up. Nevertheless, I think it is important for both females and males to be aware of its negative impacts. All that being said, today I'll be going into depth with three reasons why you should care about ditching the tampon tax. For starters, tampons, pads, and other menstrual items shouldn't be and are not considered luxury items by women who menstruate. Secondly, we will talk about how ditching the tampon tax is an issue of gender equality. And finally, we will touch on how low income women are disproportionately impacted by the tampon tax. The luxury item tax is a sales tax that is placed on goods that are considered expensive, unnecessary, or non-essential. Many states, including our own, considers feminine hygiene products as one of those luxury items that needs to be taxed. This is wrong. For women, periods are not a luxury and menstruation shouldn't come with a state tax. To put things into an uncomfortable perspective, researchers for the City Hill Press pointed out that items like Band-Aids and gauze are considered medical supply and therefore exempt from sales tax. However, pads and tampons are not, despite being classified as a medical device by the FDA. If you can connect the dots between why those items are related, you might understand just how crazy that is. Now we can talk about how ditching the tampon tax is an issue of gender equality. Women are having to pay a tax on period products simply because of our biological makeup. Assemblywoman Christina Garcia put it simply by saying, basically, we are being taxed for being women. Tampons and other menstrual products should be exempt from sales tax as a medical necessity and out of a, as a matter of equity and fairness. The tampon tax is just one reflection of how our society is hiding women's sexual health. There is no reason why we shouldn't take the tampon tax or even menstruation as a whole seriously, especially when half of the population globally faces it on a monthly basis for about 40 years of their lives. The tampon tax needs to change. One of the main arguments in support of having a tax on feminine hygiene products, according to a Washington Post opinion editorial, states that the tampon tax movement is fraud and, and argues that Tax rates on other items would have to be increased to, in order to cover the lost tax revenue. Regardless, having a tax on feminine hygiene products directly discriminates against women and needs to be repealed despite traditional tax concerns. This tax is crazy and needs to change now. It is not only the right and obvious thing to do, but it is also an important step and breaking down the remaining barriers that only continue to stigmatize women's menstrual health. When we take down the taxes on feminine hygiene products, we are also taking down a barrier that only serves to perpetuate gender inequality. Periods are already a burden on the, wall, on the body. They shouldn't be a burden on the wallet too. Women around the world are negatively impacted by the tampon tax. As our third and final reason why you should care about ditching the tampon tax, we will discuss how women, more importantly, how low income women are disproportionately impacted by the tampon tax. According to research done by InStyle magazine, when only taking into account 50% of all women in the United States who are within the menstruating age, it turns out that females in the United States are paying over 200 million a year on their period products. Periods are already expensive. Pads and tampons, they can go as high as seven to ten dollars like a box. Making it hard for low income women to provide themselves with the proper hygiene tools that they need. There shouldn't be an added sales tax that shouldn't even be there. As we wrap up all the three reasons, I hope you take some of my own reasons as your own. A reason that you should take home with you is that tampons and pads are not considered luxury items by women who menstruate, how ditching the tampon tax is also an issue of gender inequality, 
And finally, how low-income women are disproportionately impacted by the tax. I hope you all have a better understanding of how the tampon tax is negatively impacting women around the world, and I hope you leave with your own reasons why you care about ditching the tampon tax. Thank you.